Okay, coaches. So we have gone through a few steps already for this Saturday training for the lead coaches. First, uh, we've gone through how to actually set up a Wufu account. Then uh, we went through how to create forms in Wufu. And then after that, we did how to actually set up this Saturday form in the right format for when you have to do the export out of Wufu and then copy that information over into the Excel template created by Rhonda. So that's what we're going to do right now. Um, well, what we're going to do right now is actually do an export. I want you to see what it looks like when you export the file. Um, and then the next video will be how to actually copy what you export into the file that Rhonda created. So I'm going to log in. Okay, so I've logged in and you've seen this screen before because I have it, uh, I've used it in a few of the trainings so far. And one thing I will tell you, so you've gone through the form, you've shared the form with all of your challengers, they filled out the form, even the people who have had issues and then you have to, um, you know, some people you may have to load, okay? So let me give you a couple of tips before we do the export. Number one, number one, it is best to open Wufu in an Internet Explorer if you want to be able to view the photos before you do the export. Now, you could export everything, all the information, and then click on the link inside of the export and look at the pictures that way. But I have found for me and the ladies who were supporting me that the easiest way to actually look at the photos and make any necessary changes is to open it in Internet Explorer. And I'll show you why. When you open it in Internet Explorer, so we're going to go to the Saturday file here. And as you can see, we have 305 entries. So let's go ahead and take a look at... Shanae Torres. We're just going to click on that link and then we see in here that she, you know, has entered her weight and everything. She had no problem uploading. Okay. So she put no my pictures on this form with, with no errors and everything. So if you have 30 people in your group, 30 ladies that are in your group, and you have three or four support coaches, you can divide the entries for that particular Saturday up between your coaches. So if you have 30 people and you have three coaches um, that are looking at these and helping you with support this, then each of you um, can take, you know, five, some can take 10, whoever has the time and look at the files while they're actually in Wufu and Internet Explorer. And that way, when you export the file out and you have to do all the calculations and everything, it's a snap. It's a breeze. You don't have to go into the file and download pictures and look at pictures. Internet Explorer has this cool thing. So what you'll see is I'm going to click on the links for all the pictures. So I'm just going down the line. I'm not even opening any of them yet. So I'm clicking on the link for all the pictures. And then Internet Explorer will ask you, do you want to open or save this image from my Wufu? I don't want to save it. That's going to take a, a space on my hard drive. I don't have that space to give. So what I'm going to do is open the file. It opens the picture for me. I can see that it says 27.3. She put 27.3 for her left thigh measurement because that's the last picture that I downloaded. Well, that I clicked link on and then I can go to the next one. It is 27.6. Did she put 27.6? She put 27.6 and then just keep looking at them that way. The files are not saved to your computer. You don't have this massive folder that has all these downloads in them or anything. That is the great thing about opening this in Internet Explorer. And if you have a spreadsheet like we have that has all of our challengers in it, and then it has the beginning measurements column, a week one column, a week two column, a week three column, when your support coaches and yourself are finished looking at a certain set number of pictures, you can go in and say, yes, they submit it or complete. You can put it in a complete column, uh, complete in the column 
next to week three or whatever week it is for that particular challenger. And each of the coaches that have access, the support coaches who have access to that can do that for their 10 people. Do you know how simple that is? Whereas you as a lead coach may have had to look at all 60 people or all 30 people in there and, you know, then reach out to your support coach and say, I need you to go back to such and such person and ask them for to retake their waist picture. No, you guys can break this up however you want to break it up. We uh, tend to just do, okay, I'm giving you 10, I'm giving you 10, no matter if you're supporting them or not. And then we put complete or need thigh measurement or no pictures attached into the file. That way we know what we're missing. And then we reach out to those people. You can do it however you want to do it. It's your group. You can lead it however you want to lead it. But this right here, saves you so much time. So I will stress, open it in Internet Explorer, click on all the links for the people, look at the pictures, and then the space is saved on your computer and time is used wisely. So that's tip number one. Um, tip number two would be have that sheet with all of your challenges in it and their partners and their encouragers and everything and add columns onto it that say beginning stats beginning pictures, uh, week one, week two, week three, final pictures. And that way you guys can just check these people off um, as complete or you will know who your problem people are. So when the following week comes up and if they still haven't submitted on time, then you can say, you know what, sayonara, I'm sorry. Or you can keep a record of it if you gave them a chance that next time there's a challenge, they'll be the, one of the last people to get into the challenge because they were constantly late. They were constantly, you had to constantly chase them around for stuff. So that's tip number two from Coach G. Okay, so now that, um, let's say we finished, all of the support coaches have looked at all the pictures, you know, and they've put in their columns that everyone is complete and you're ready to do an export. You're ready to get this, the find out who the winner is and all of that. So, if you look here, there's this link called bulk actions. And what you want to do is you want to click the bulk actions link. And what it's going to do is actually going to export every single file that is in this particular thing. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about that, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to click this button here that says export. And then it's asking you which way you want it to be exported. I we, we want in an Excel because we're going to move it from this particular file over to another Excel file. So let's go ahead and export in Excel. And then it's working in the background and then it's asking you, are you sure you want to do this? You know, could be corrupt. Yes. Let's go ahead and do it. So what do you want to do with it? I'm going to open it. Yes. Yes, I know. Um, I have uh, antivirus software, so it does this for me all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and allow it. And it's working and working. It's 278 files that it needs to export. And then you'll see what it looks like once it actually opens. All right. And I'm waiting. Let's see if something's happening. Oh, that's what it is. Something was happening in the background. Do you want to open it anyway? Yes, I want to open it anyway. So this is what the file looks like. This is every entry from the beginning of this particular file, okay? And it looks fine. It looks fine. Okay? So. In this section over here, you will see which week, which weeks these are for, okay? So we see beginning measurements, week one. Um, this person came in late, so this, their beginning measurements, and then right after you'll see week one. Um, so week one, week two, week three. And then we have a whole bunch of week four in here and someone forgot to choose the right week for this. There's no way this is a beginning measurement. So if we look, uh, Zakia Cho didn't change the week. 
for this. So we can either change it here or change it in Wufu. But I'm just going to go ahead and change it here. Okay, just so I know it's before. A couple people didn't do that. So Kina and Tamika and Margo. Okay. So this is what the exported file looks like. These are all the weeks. This tells me which group they're in, their name when they selected it from the group, their weight, and they use their images for their weight, their chest, images for their chest, arm, image, arm, image, waist, image, uh, hips, image, thigh, image, and thigh, image, and then the week. So this is what the export looks like. Pretty simple. And like I said, you could come in here and you could actually click on this and then it will open another thing, another um, website page for you and open a picture for you. But as you can see, it's or it actually it downloaded this one. So you see how long it takes just to open one picture. Can you imagine trying to look at 30 people like this? It takes entirely too long. So take my word of advice, open Wufu and Internet Explorer. Break up the number of ladies that you have among you and your support coaches. Look at it in Wufu, see if it's any issues. It's easy to attach pictures to a submission in Wufu. If something's missing, all you got to do is hit edit. Go find the picture that you want to attach and attach it to it. It's very simple. Do most of your work in Wufu. And then when you export the file, it's easy peasy. So that covers how to export the file. Um, from Wufu. And what you want to do, one last thing, what you want to do is you actually want to save this file somewhere. So you can save this file on your computer or you can save it in the Google Drive and then that way you can use it again. So for now, I'm going to save it on my computer so it'll be easier for me to use with the actual Excel template because once you put something in the drive, you really don't want to mess with it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do File, and I'm going to save this as in my documents. I have a specific place that I keep these. I have a triple F folder. And then I am going to save this as an Excel workbook. And see how I have this? So I'm going to save this as triple F challenge worksheet download. And I'm going to put the date on it. So 06-29-15. Okay, so now I know where to find it when I need to use it. So that covers how to, a couple tips for um, checking the validity of pictures and everything and then measurements and weights that are inputted into Wufu and how to um, export your file from Wufu. I'll be back later to show you how to take what you exported and actually put it into the worksheet that Rhonda created.